Hi there, it's Kevin with GatheringMagic.com here with a little bit of an update to the list. I'm trying out black now. So I've evolved this over into a, a black list for a Veracity of the Unseen Abrupt Decays sideboard, Far and Away sideboard, and I just think it's a little bit better than red. Uh, I love the boar, the, the boar, Borborogamos. Uh, the gruel leader dude. He, he is definitely awesome if you can get him out early enough, but I just... I don't think that I like it. So I think I'm going to go over to this Deadbeard's Chant. I really want to see how well Deadbeard's Chant works. And we we are just running six black mana sources. I could definitely go down in that as well. It, I think I was getting a little bit land flooded. I just did some uh, additional play testing. Uh, I ended up deleting both the videos because they're they're both very, very uninteresting because I just plain missed. I was getting land flooded like crazy and was able to be overrun by a mono blacklist and a green white hexproof deck that I didn't have any answers for. So I, I far and away just seems like it'll be amazing versus the green white hexproof deck as well as it's it's definitely good against the mono blacklist as far and away is is yeah target creature so so you could it's definitely an answer for the pack rats it's definitely an answer for the nightville specters it's definitely an answer to slow them down the way makes them usually they only have like one creature out anyway so away is really good against that matchup and uh the cyclonic Rifts were too many in the sideboard so two of is just fine and negates between two negates and two plasma captures i think we have decent counter magic in our deck and the abrupt decays abrupt decades will really help us against early match uh early early decks like red deck wins and even like mono black abrupt decays are really good against two if you could just, just if you just kill their underworld connections it's basically game so anyway we're gonna go off to another we're gonna try another one here hopefully we get that mono black is again and we're gonna try this black version with dead bridge uh chant to see if it is as good as i think it's gonna be so we have right off the bat we have a pretty decent hand no i'm not gonna mulligan this we do need to draw into some additional ramp to get those silver primordials out but i'm going to start off with actually a watery grave because i i don't need to scry quite yet because i mean basically everything in my on the top of my library i'd want to keep at this point i mean i wouldn't want to scry a land away i'd want to keep any sort of mana ramp so it's kind of pointless to do a a temple this early so i'm going to go ahead and put a mana west sliver out this could be esper this could be mono black uh, we should still don't know, but this is good because I know he won't kill my 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 sliver here. But again, we a verdant haven or an unexpected results would be the best thing I could draw into right now. Garuk's gonna be cool later on. I will temple now, as I I definitely want. I'm gonna I'm gonna allow this to be on top of my library, and I'm gonna get in there for one damage. So I could be in a bit of a pickle if this is Esper. I still can't even quite ramp into either one of these, so I did get too many ramp cards. Ugh. Mono black, and it's the Thoughtseize version. So he's going to get rid of the Primeval Bounty or the Groot Collar of Beasts, and I definitely have to draw into subsequent lands. The good news is basically anything at this point I draw into is a great card, except for more of these. And he gets Groot, that's fine. I'd way rather have Primeval Bounty. And he is in a world of hurt because he did not draw into a land. He drew into that Thoughtseize. And if we are able to hit this primeval bounty, we should be in great shape. And he misses land again, so sorry for the uninteresting video. Oh, it's Esper. That is interesting. So this should be awesome versus Esper hitting this primeval bounty. So Abrupt Decades might come in for Tension Spheres, but I don't think I care too much about them. Does he actually have a Negate? Oh, wowzer. Syncopate. Syncopate. Okay. So I'm actually not out of this. He's still fine. If he draws into a land here, he's fine. If he does not draw into land here, yeah, okay. Now he's in, now he's in a world of hurt because he's got to have another Syncopate. All right. So he didn't have it. And I cast it, and that's victory. All right, very, again, not a good little video here. Uh, but the thing is, we get to bring in the plasma captures. I will bring in a Veraska and, and the gates. 
And the ramp is definitely decent. Everything's decent here. I don't think the World Spine Worm is very good, to be honest with you. It doesn't work with Edward's Chant. And I think we don't need as much ramp as... Like, these Mana Weft Slivers are probably the, the right thing to, to take out for this more control. Or maybe the Unexpected Results as Unexpected Results don't do a lot versus this. Yeah, I think the Unexpected Results are actually going to come out here. Because we... We'll be able to... We don't need to cheat in anything here. So I might actually uh, consider Thought Seasons in my sideboard as well. The problem with running as minimal black as I, I have is you can't really first turn Thought Seize for a a card. So it's more like a a late Thought Seize. You know what? I'm going to keep this hand versus... You like hitting all your drops versus these... These Esper decks. And I don't need to... I have the ramp as far as Elvish Mystic. And I have ways to scry away a lot of uh, subsequent lance off the top. So I'm okay with keeping a, a, car, a, lan, a hand like this. So... Yeah, I'm going to Verdant Haven here. I, I doubt... Yeah, doubt he, he, mo or he counters that. But it does allow us to ramp even more. And so he's definitely just going to have to keep up mana from now on. And getting a little bit flooded with ramp. At least we get those on the bottom. I'm going to attack in here for one. And I'm going to go ahead and put out another mystic. So four lands in my hand. That's not good. We will be able to scry away... Hopefully a few of them. Oh, geez. Okay. I guess that's why you don't keep six land hands. This one's definitely okay to keep. But again, he's got to use his mana sometime here. Because I, I know for a fact he's holding up dissolve mana. So this will allow me to hit the dead bridge tra chant. One, two, three, four. Yep, it will allow me to hit the Deadbridge Chant. So that's awesome being able to hit that, if, unless he's got a Detention Sphere in his hand. So we will go Overgrown Tomb. And we will have six mana here. Don't know why he's Supreme Verdict. It wasn't that big of a deal. And again, he's got to have that D-Sphere, or should be good. I've got a carotid in there. Got a few other other cards. But this is a Frexian Arena on crack. So probably the D Sphere is gonna come down. But again, that forces him to spend his mana. And if I can top into anything, yeah, I knew that was coming. And the gate is still pretty good. But I have ways to get that back. Ugh, not with these lands, though. Wow. Oh, wow. This is, this is getting ridiculous. Uh, three lands in the graveyard as well. This is going to go on top, but I think it's going to be too little too late to deal with it. Unless he, he gets greedy here and throws out, like, an Aetherling. Really? A Demir Charm. Look, top three cards start with it and put one back and the rest in his graveyard. So, yeah, I, he probably forces me into... Ugh. A land. Pretty good card, I guess, but it doesn't give him card advantage, though. It just allows him to Esper here. Elspeth here. Yeah. Ouch. That Dem a Demir Charm gets me, huh? Because he gets me another land. And, whoa. Jeez. Well, I think all my lands are, are officially on the bottom. But, can't get beat down here. The best thing I can draw into is like a Veraska. That's actually really good. But I, I'm thinking that this dude's just going to get countered. Because he's got that Dissolve. I know he's got that Dissolve in his hand. Yeah. Allows him to scry away a land off the top as well. But hopefully I can scry away land number Gazillion. At least we get that off the top. Uh, 
All right, so Elspeth is probably going to get him here. And I might just think about bringing Abrupt Decays as, as something for the Detention Sphere. Because he can just plus. Yeah, I, I basically have to draw into a Vraska, kill off the Elspeth. Even that probably won't do it, though. Primeval Bounty. Nope, that is going to be game next turn. All right, so we'll go on to the last match. Uh, never keep a six land hand, that is why. Uh, far and away are still not good. Unexpected results are probably better than these uh, these horrible, horrible Mana West Slivers. I don't think we need them at this point. It does make our Primeval Bounties a little bit worse, and maybe I need to go more heavy creatures with Primeval Bounty. Maybe I need to go into the Gyre Sages or something. Uh, as... Yeah, okay, I'm going to submit it like this, though. I don't think Abrupt Decay is necessary to put in here. Maybe maybe Rifts are actually good. Yeah, Rifts are rifts are, are definitely good here. So maybe just Sylvan Caritas go by. And that way we only have 10 cards, but hopefully this will be... Yeah, I actually, the Primal Bounties are bad now, though. Uh, again, this is fine. This has decent ramp. Has our Temple of Deceit that we can actually play first turn and scry away. Yeah, we'll put away that. Oh, jeez, ha! I said we'll put that on the bottom and I end up putting on the top. I'm a great magic player. So he is a Temple of Deceit as well. This will allow me to Carotid. And again, we can Verdant, Verdant Haven, but man, that, I needed that forest on the bottom for whatever I would have drawn here. Debridge Shant, that's me great once we can actually cast it. I'm going to go for a Breeding Pool. And he's got to have a dissolve, or I'm in great shape. Syncopate dissolve is very horrible, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cast this Urban Evolution rather than a Deadbridge Chant. And if this somehow hits, this should be game. But I guarantee he's got a Negator dissolve in his hand. Yeah, of course. So this was this was the matchup I was worried against it was Esper. There's really not much you can do against the counter spells. And he, <laughs> wow, that was a great draw on his part. And now he's free to not hold mana up because I have to top deck now, and I top deck into a land, getting a little bit land flooded again. That is an understatement. And he's going to get a Jace here. Yep, Jace is going to come out. <laughs> I really don't care. He's going to take the lands here. Uh, yeah. It's a play land, so I need to top deck into something. Oh, boy. Okay. Now, eventually when I draw an unexpected results, right? You got to think that I can. But, I mean, he's just... He's at the point where he has so much card advantage... Uh, seven cards in hand versus my three. Uh, I'm sure he's got a Sphinx's Revelation. I'm sure he's got Detention Spheres. I'm sure I can top deck into four lands in a row. Oh, right, well, look at that. Make that five lands in a row I can top deck into. And maybe I could go down to 23 lands, all honesty with this. Give me Hero's Downfall. You can have as much lands as you want. All he's got to do is chuck Esper out and, or Elspeth out in its game again. That's fun. But I guarantee this gets countered. So he's going to syncopate it for a million here. He's going to sphinxes, and he's going to try to find a negate. Oh, and that's the most horrible, awful card imaginable that I could have hit there. So I think I'm going to go down to 23 lands with this amount of, like, Verdant Havens and stuff that I have. And here comes Elspeth. All right. So I need to draw into anything here. <laughs> and that that's going to do it. I'm, <laughs> I'll play it out, though, but this is getting incredibly frustrating. I have one more Verdant Haven in the entire deck. I have one more 
Um, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and two are on the bottom. Well, no, I unexpected the results. They're not on the bottom anymore. But I have a hard time imagining that I can actually draw in anything significant. I mean, you got to think he's got a counterspell in his hand. And that is just about... All right, I'm going to concede because I'm just frustrated beyond frustrated. Can go take a little bit of a break here uh, to try to... I mean, I guess this card could have theoretically sort of got me back in the game. No, he would have just been able to kill it off. But, jeez, the lands. The lands, the lands, the lands. Uh, we'll, we'll play a few more matches up here and hopefully not get as, as flooded as we've been getting. This is Kevin with GatheringMagic.com. Thanks for watching.